The atmosphere is electric here at Sakura Hills. Let's do the baseball thing. Hello friends, Colonel Failure. 20-odd games gone in the season so far, and we stink. Um, let's hope we don't today as we take on Colonel School. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it's anyone's, it's anyone's guess. We've had some good close games, and I'm hoping for a... Well, uh, either a close game that we win, or a blowout that we win. Uh, the win is the important thing. Anyway, here's Valerie Hammock to, to get us underway. Uh, she's in no rush. Or is she? Well, I mean, she'll be in whatever rush she's in. Uh, it's uh, Franchise of Bleak, who's, uh, who's pitching for the, uh, for the enemy. And so far, he's not exactly on target. Five pitches thrown. And that one's inside. And Val will get on base, courtesy of a walk. That'll do nicely. Uh, here's Cookie. Peaches Wallace. Uh, up next to bat. Okay. All right. Yeah. No pressure here. First inning. No pressure at all. We're just we're just gonna ride it out a little bit and uh, see where that gets us. This guy is all over the place. His uh, his pitching leaves quite a lot to be desired. As uh, so three balls, one strike. That one straight down the middle. Strike two. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's inside. That's another walk. I'll take it. I oh, know. I'll 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 sit in for those all day long. Here's Cindy. And we've now got runners on first and second and have yet to swing the bats. I like it. That one's low. Come on, franchise. Uh, otherwise, you might have to find yourself another franchise. Because they'll sack you. Uh, two balls, one strike. Cindy waiting for a pitch she likes the looks of. And that's not bad. Has it got distance on the fielder? It does indeed. And that's going to open the scoring. Here in the first inning. A double there for Cindy Vapid and a run batted in. Uh, fantastic way to start the game. Uh, Chubbs Beaver is, uh, is next up. Uh, Chubbs pretty good at getting on base and doing so will get us another run. But, I mean, you know, let's not, let's not count anything before we need to count it because there's a counting thing to be done. Chubbs goes for that one. He's probably going to get the run, but he will get out in the process. That's okay. That's better than we usually accomplish. Uh, here's Johnny Touchdown, who's in for a uh, an injured first baseman in the name of Shandy Worthless. He's uh, he's out. He got tweaked in the last game. All right. Okay, Johnny. I mean, it's very straightforward. A base hit, and we get ourselves a run. All right. Two strikes, one ball. Yeah, I've had a feeling that was going to swing into the uh, to the strike zone. That gives us two outs, and now Bernard Dunk. Come on, Bernard, just get on base, mate. Just get on base. Anything else is optional. He swings at the first pitch. That was ill-advised. Well, had he left it, it would have been a strike. Well, okay. Yeah, I suppose there's that. Strike two. That one's a little on the low side. It's not going to get us the run. And that's out number three, but not before we put two runs in. Well, that's good. Yeah, no, that is good. Oh, I think that's good. I think I think that's I think that's good. Uh, right, Rooster Views is pitching for us today, and uh, he'll be showing his uh, his worth against Felicity Jackhammer, who's first up to bat. Uh, batting average just south of three hundred at the moment, uh, but a, a stat suggests she's pretty good. So you know, dream into that what you wish. Yeah. Those are some nice pitches there, Rooster. Uh, have you got anything, you know, devilish to round it out with? Uh, that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Uh, all right, well, well, we'll try it early. I don't think it's going to work. Great pitch, though. Uh, Cookie isn't able to make the play on that one. That will give up a double. Solid, solid opening batter, though. I mean, there's, there's nothing you can do about that much, and there was nothing too badly wrong with the pitching. Just not able to to uh, to catch him out there. Here's Bessie Grape Shot. Okay. All right, Bess, what you got? You're bad at first pitches. Oh, well, I'll throw an easy one then. There you go. All right, I, well, I say easy one. I'll try and get that on target next time. My pot of flipping egg. Yeah, these are, these are not going exactly where I want them. Yeah, all right. 
Uh, would you, I mean, Rooster, just, no, no, stop trying to be clever and just, you know, throw some. Throw some down the middle. All right, he is a K-neglector. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well, he neglected that one a long way foul. Uh, keep the slider coming in. Oh, dear. No, she didn't, she didn't bite on that one. Rooster, stop using your arm up so, quite so fast. That's, that's not exactly what I had in mind. They stole third there. I was momentarily flummoxed as to which way they were going. Um, yeah, what happened there? I got them out, and they stole third. Okay, all right, yeah, fine, good. Glad, glad, we, <laughs> glad I'm tuned in enough to know what's going on in the game. Well, you're scoring, so, you know, that's not so bad. Cindy, no, can't make the dive. That's going to be another double. That's twice they've split the fielders up there. Uh, I, I, if I could, if I could target my own hits to that kind of low Carl, it would be marvellous. Here's Felipe flexing, and my goodness me, he's in a good mood. Uh, three seven four batting average. He's quite the player. Okay, it's all right. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, nothing out of the ordinary. Just throw the ball. Okay, yeah, do another fasty. All right, there you go. Well, I'm not sure that's going to pay off. Cookie's in the right area, but that one is over the fence and gone. And uh, what looked like a bright start to the game for BDP. Well, we're behind. Yeah. That's his sixth so far this season. And he's knocked 27 runs in as well. Here's Tiger Chain Gang. Another pretty good player. Well, I mean, if you go, if you go on paper, pretty good player. Uh, if you went off paper, yeah, he's a pretty good player. But I mean, we have to we have to see how he gets on against the onslaught of Rooster. Deary me, how have I still got a job? Views that one's over the fence. Yep. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Rooster, you're a colossal disappointment to me and your mother. Yep. That's his third home run so far this season. Uh, good for you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know, calm down. Here's uh, ye old the clumsy. He's also batting north of 300. This is obviously a batty kind of a team. That one's got a Chubbs. Chubbs will field it. Throws to Johnny Touchdown, who's not in his native position, but he does play infield, you know, for fun. And that's out number two. Here's Christopher Biscuit. Uh, the catcher. Uh, not the best player on the team. Uh, I mean, is that going to mean anything, though? When, when the grand reckoning comes along? Well, I don't know. When is the Grand Reckoning coming along? Oh, later. What, around the sixth inning? Something like that? Sure, why not? Anyway, he's out. Struck out there, and that's three done. But at the end of the first inning, Bulldogs of Power trail four to two. Yeah. I know. But you started brightly. Okay, so keep being bright. Here's Dick Yardline. He's batting just south of the 400 this season. But that usually means nothing. Because we hit a lot, but don't score enough. Yeah. Two strikes there. Uh, really? Yeah. He's gone for that one, and is not going to make it to base. Nope, that's the end of uh, Mr. Yardline for this inning. Here's Coral Success. Another 400 batter this year. Has, uh, has saved our bacon on a few occasions, or at least made our bacon feel like it could possibly survive. Uh, even though we've uh, we've lost quite a few games. Coral tries to split the infield, doesn't, and is out. Not quite enough, you know, oomph. Not enough oomph on it. Well, that brings us around to Rooster. He does have a hit this year. I think he's one, <laughs> one for ten at bats. Uh, okay. He's gone for that one. Why, why hang around? Well, because you could have taken some more energy out of the picture. It's just a thought. Didn't bother, though, did you? Negative. Okay. Next up to bat is Mina Failure, uh, who once upon a time was a really good player. Uh, this season, looking at her numbers, not all that. So, I don't know what's gone wrong there, but something, clearly. And I've got no further no further information with that regard. I'm just, just dropping in some statistical analysis. Cookie's out there looking for it. Dives, but it's again, it's off the flaming fence. That's three they've put there now, and she's going to stretch that into a triple because obviously Cookie was out of position having tried the dive. Gives up a triple. 
Wow. His franchise of Bleak, he's got a heck of a swing on him, uh, but uh, he's not exactly consistent when it comes to getting hits. That said, he is batting 236 this year, which is pretty good. He's got a hit here by the looks of it. Cookie makes some amends, but we're still going to give up another run. Well, that's better than giving up four. There it is, yes. It is better than giving up four. One out now, and uh, we're round to the top of the order again. Flick Jackhammer is, uh, is going to come and have another go. All right. Rooster, just keep it simple, bruv. All right? Keep it simple. That's good. That's good. Coral. 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 She's got it. Good catch there from Coral. Success. Says Bessie. Great shot. The short stop. Well, one of the few players we managed to get out in the first inning. Obviously, we got three out in the first inning in total. Otherwise, we'd still be playing the first inning. That's how the game works. Uh, but uh, she's going to be uh, endeavouring for something here. That's two. Try the change up. I don't know if it's going to have any efficacy today or not. No. When you try to change up, Rooster, try and get it on target. Otherwise, we won't be able to gauge whether or not it's been successful. Cindy's not going to get anywhere near that, but I'm going to make a dive anyway. All right. Two outs. Runner on first. Yeah, yeah. This St. Crabthorn. Uh, landed a double first time. But, I mean, we've given up that many doubles so far that, I mean, you know, who's even counting them anymore? All right, let's let's try the change up again. Hang on. Never mind. Cindy's got that one, and uh, that's the third out at the end of two innings. It's now 5 nothing. No, 5-2. Five 5-2. Two. Five two. Better than 5 nothing. it's 5-2. Might as well be 5 nothing. We're still losing. Now back the third baseman, number 18. Here's Val. Got herself walked first time round, and, uh, well, the mind weevils are in play. So she's just going to sit here and ride some of this out. Yeah, just keep calm, Val. Keep calm. No, nope, she stopped keeping calm. Hit it straight to the shortstop. Well, oh, that worked about as well as you would expect. Here's Cookie. Also walked first time round. Yeah, okay. Cookie takes the first strike. Yeah. And a second strike. I didn't think that was a strike. That one's strikeoid, and therefore Cookie's had to have a go at it. It's not gone very far, and she's out as well. Terrific! Here's Cindy Vapid. While uh, arguably the brightest spark in our first inning. Uh, managed, to, managed to stretch a double. But uh, things ain't looking grand right now. That's another base hit, though, for Cindy. Nice. We don't hit it over there very often. Did now, though. Yeah, we should do that more often. Oh, sure. Like I've got control over that. You're talking you're talking microseconds there to, to make the decision to hit it there. And uh, that's, that's not something that's within my capabilities. Uh, if it happens to go over there, great. If it doesn't, oh well. Yeah, one on one count. Chubbs Beaver, two strikes now. All right, Chubbs, 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 Chubbs. No, no, Cindy's not going anywhere. Forget that. No, 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 no. It's, it's, ah. Uh, Chubbs goes to the big swing. I don't think it's got the range, because it hasn't. And that's the third out. For anyone taking public transit on the way home, pick up a bus station bento. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it is Felipe flexing. He managed a home run when we saw him last time. Okay. Well, let's keep these high, because it, uh, it undermines his ability to get underneath it. Does it? Doesn't, doesn't, uh, going low undermine his ability to, never mind, he's, he's, he's had a go. Coral's got that one though, so that's good. All right, here's Tiger the Chain Gang, also got a home run first time round, because it was in that home run moment, uh, where we give up a bunch of home runs. Oh, we like to do that in every game. It's something the crowds really enjoy. I, they, uh, I rather think it is, isn't it? Right, anyway, that's two strikes. You're going to try the change up again. I mean... No. I mean, you, you, both your velocity and junk pitching capabilities are poor, Rooster. The only thing you've got going for you is your accuracy. And there's a strikeout. <laughs> uh, despite him being a K neglector. Well, he K'd that big time. Oh, yeah. All the Ks on that one. Yeah. Good. Whatever. Right. Anyway, who's this spang now? It's uh, ye old the clumsy. Ah, but is he ye old the batter? That's the that's a well flipping great pitch. 
and uh, completely foxed the batter on that one. Rooster, can you get another one? Not this time. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Come on, Rooster. Well, that one's only going to get to first base, but it's still a hit. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Two outs. Runner on first. Here in whatever inning we're in. Three, I think. Third inning, is it? Yeah, it is the third inning. Okay. Right. Who's this? It's Christopher Biscuit. Ah. I know him. Yeah, he plays baseball. All right. Good. Yeah. Rooster. Continue to throw him in. I don't really... I mean, you know, many of you would be saying... Get rid of Rooster. He's hopeless. He is our worst starting pitcher. Uh, we knew this already. Cookie is nowhere even in the same country. And that's looking very much like it's going to be another run as we cough up yet another double. Ah, good times. Here is me a failure. <laughs> as, as hope starts to fade from our eyes in the third inning. Me a failure got a triple first time around. We've got a runner on second. Yeah. You go, oh, what happened to that other runner? They got in. And that's going to be a hit. Coral will throw to home. And then throw to second. Oh, no. Okay, should have thrown to second and then home. Yeah, but you see, had they run for home. Yeah, but I mean, that counts as another double. We know that it counts as another double. Here's the picture. Oh, well, maybe we can save our, save our blushes a little here if we can get this picture out. But he did get a hit off us first time around. Yeah. Actually, I'm not sure he did get a hit. No, he did. He, got, he, he batted a run in. All right. Well, okay. Just keep throwing stuff. He was fooled with that one. Oh, go on. See if you can fool him with this one. Go on. It'd be nice. It didn't work. Cindy slid out there to get it and has it. And that's a run batted in by the pitcher. That's the kind of game we're having. When the when the pitcher bats in a run, you just kind of go, oh, you're having that kind of game. And you go, yeah, I am. For some reason, Rooster is falling the heck out of everybody with his uh, with his junk pitches. It's not his it's not his special chosen ability. That one's horrible. And yet, what are you even playing at? Well, we we dived cleanly underneath that one. Oh boy. Yeah, that was... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can you can point the finger at our uh, our offensive capabilities for our, our lack of victory. Uh, in this one, however, one has to squarely go, you know, defense, you're, you're really awful. Thanks, Val. Yeah, Val's got that one. And uh, at the end of three innings, the score is 8-2. Not in our favour. No. Oh, no. Here's Johnny Touchdown. Brought in to hopefully inject a little bit of liveliness in our really uh, our reserve hitting force. Is that some liveliness? No. That was a very nice catch. Bessie Grape Shot there. Showing off how you do actually make a diving catch. Show off. Yeah, here's Bernard Dunk. All right, Dunkers. Have you got anything for us today? Or are you just going to sit there scowling with your hair? No, he's not. He's not sitting there scowling with his hair. He's got a double. And that's that's nice. I mean, you know, he got there just in time, but it was a double anyway. Uh, here's Dick Yardline. Accomplished nothing from his first at bat. Maybe he can accomplish something from his second at bat. Dick, over to you. Nothing. Ball one. All right. Ball two went to exactly the same place, and I, I followed it the same way. It went a bit faster, though. That's a strike. Yeah. No, 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 no. Fouled that one off. Uh, it was going. F it was going to ball anyway. But now Dick is wasting the pitcher's time. E ball three just. That was not. A st uh, maybe it was. Okay. Dick Yardline strikes out. I can't. I, I'm not going to portion blame for that. That was a very edge case kind of a read there, but it didn't go our way. The previous one was also an edge case read, and that did go our way. So, I think these things balance out over time. Coral slaps one up the middle. We haven't got the legs to make it uh, all the way to home, but that now gives us runners at the corners with two outs, and it's Rooster Views up to be substituted. Yeah, no, his his pitching days are over. Right, 
Who's going to get it done for us? Benny Cheese. I want someone who's a reliable hitter. It's Reverend Joe, though, isn't it? Yep. Come on, Joe. Let's go. The Reverend Joe Hobo into pinch hits. All right. Well, a good hit here would be nice. A base hit here would be fine. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Just a base hit. Just a... No, 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 no. I'm not... I'm not chancing nothing with two outs. Forget you. All right. That's two balls, one strike. Reverend Joe is waiting for it. That was a bad choice. That was... I mean... Could have waited out another strike. Anyway, there's an, uh, a classic opportunity burgled. Uh, tools, you're on. Why is Tools on? Because it's only the fourth inning. That's why Tools is on. And therefore, I don't want to burn a reliever when I've got a perfectly viable start reliever. I say perfectly reliable. Um, we're, in a, we're in a not much to lose kind of a scenario right now. Given that we trail by six. Yeah. All right. There's ball one. I mean, Tools would be a good pitcher if he was good. But he's not, so he's so he isn't. Uh, and, the, the, I mean, the reason for that, he's got a lot of pitchers at his disposal. He's flexible enough to play start or reliever. He's just not a good pitcher. Yeah. I know. Anyway, two strikes. Come on, son. This is the one. That's all over the place. And that's a double or worse. It's worse. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was batting? Does it matter? A little bit, yeah. I mean, people take an interest. That's St. Crabthorn. Knocking in her fourth home run of the year. I mean, they're fighting over who's going to be the home, the uh, the superstar of the day. I know. Here's Felipe. Is he flexing? Well, he will be in a minute after he knocks seven shades of uh, turkey out of this one. Yeah, that one's gone straight up in the air. Bernard's trotting back for it, but it's going over the safety fence. Well, it's going, you know, in the direction of the safety fence. One and one counts. No outs so far here at the bottom of the fourth. Uh, right. Tools. Nice throw. Good pitch. And he gets a strike out there. I mean, I would I would say it was possibly inside the strike zone, but, you know, it was, that's an edge case call right there. And sometimes you get burned on those, as we all know. Yeah, his Tiger Chain Gang now facing off against the Ghast. He's uh, he slapped that one upwards. Cookie's coming in for it. Is she going to get there in time? Yes. That's the second out. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Some some actual defending going on here. Is he old or clumsy? Uh, right. Yeah. Just keep him keep him guessing with some of this rubbish. Johnny's going to field that one. We'll trot it over to first, and that's out number three. I was about to suggest we'd held them to nothing in that inning, but no, they hit a homer. So at the end of four innings, it's 9-2. Uh, yeah. Okay, all right. No, 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 it's it's all fine. It's Valerie Hammock, who uh, has had a walk today, but precious little else. Yeah, okay. All right, well, that's two balls. Obviously, Valerie deploying the mind weevils. And that, that helps in throwing off the game of the uh, opposing pitcher. But she liked that one. When with good cause, she's got to first base, everybody. And that's one on. Okay. Okay. Here's Cookie. Also, one walk for her and nothing else at all. Card, Cookie. And that's the end of Franchise Oblique. They're bringing in Charlie Two Shots. Not the best relieving pitcher you're ever going to see. Uh, but she's she's certainly capable. Let's see how she throws. Uh, yeah, the clumsy's being substituted as well, out of right field. Where's he playing? Yeah, he's playing right field. And they're going to bring in Guadalupe Guadalajara instead. I'm sure there's a strategy in there somewhere, but I'm I'm blown if I can unpick it. Yeah, they're doing the double switch so that they can change the batting order. Yeah, but but why? They're ahead by seven runs. Yep. That's a hit. And uh, we now have runners on first and second. Cookie getting on base. Lovely times. Here's Cindy, who is our brightest spark so far today. She's got a double, a single. Batted in a run. Two for two. Yeah, I know, but that could, that could soon change. You go hero to zero in this town real fast. Yeah. 
Whereupon you tarred, feathered, and called rude names. Alright, what do we got? That was IT. I had a feeling it was going to sink late, and it did. And that was uh, Cindy Vapid there striking out. Is Chubbs Beaver? Chubbs seems to be off form. Chubbs, what's going on with you? Hang on, he says, getting a base hit. Well, the bases are loaded. Yeah, I mean, you're saying that as though I can ever do anything with a loaded bases scenario. And I'll be honest, now would be the time. Well, that's Johnny Touchdown. He does have the power. No, he hasn't got that one, no. No. Go, 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 run. Yes. A sacrificial fly there from Johnny Touchdown, and we get a run. Here's Bernard Dunk. All right, Bernard. We've still got runners on first and second, so there's there's still runs to be had here. And uh, what's he going to wait for? He's going to wait for a couple of pitches. Okay. Yeah, no rush. No rush. And nutmegs the pitcher and loads the bases back up again. Well, all right. Okay, this is uh, some rally-esque rally uh, batting going on from BDP. And it falls to Dick Yardline, who has yet to have a hit today, to get a hit. Dick, over to you. Hits the first one. It was a nice pitch, but he's fouled it off. Hits the second one. Nutmegs the pitcher, and that is another run. ha <laughs> Yes. Ha ho ha indeed. Here's Coral. Well, if uh, Coral felt like being heroic, now would be a great time for it. Just, just great time for it. And smacks that one straight at the pitcher. And that's another run. BDP making the most of having their bases loaded for once. Well, here's Tools. Tools, we've really got no option for you. You're going to have to ride out a few pitches. And then try and get a base hit, son. I can't sub you. Not at the moment. Hold on. Tool sees an opening. Hits it. Straight out to left field. Gets another run in. Good work, Tools. Nicely identified a very hittable pitch there and made the best of it. Here's Valerie Hammock. How long are they going to sit with Charlie? Should two shots? Not long, I would say. Um, confidence is already shot. Well, I mean, she's done nothing but give up runs. Yep. Uh, Val, meanwhile, two balls, one strike. All right, two strikes now. Yeah. Yeah. That one's inside. There's ball three. A walk would be a delight. There it is. The Mind Weevil's getting the job done, and we walk in a run. Number four. That's surely the end of this picture. Surely. The end of this picture. Cookie Peaches Wallace. There we go. Charlie Two Shots is done. They're bringing in Han Xanadu, uh, whose stamina is not 100%, but is a heck of a pitcher on a good day. Okay. Go All right. All right. Let's see what he's got to play with. Cookie, now at bat. All right. The fact that he's not fully fit works in our favor. Strike two. Cookie. Leaves it a bit late. Doesn't get a clean hit. And is out. But what an inning there for Bulldozer Power, knocking in five runs. That's the stuff. Okay, Tools, you've got, you've got to run in. Now, now is your time to, uh, to show that you deserve to be on our pitching staff. Uh, I'll, even, I'll even take a, a bit of a training session on you if I think it will make you any better. But I'll be honest, you are a god-awful pitcher that's going to take, you know, forever to develop. Chubbs, not close. That's a base hit. Okay. All right. That's okay. Let's just relax. Here's Mina Failure. She's had uh, two hits today, today, today. And uh, they were a triple and a double. You did say she was uh, she was not as good as she used to be. Yeah. That's clearly a lot. Why is she showing bunt? I don't know. That's a very strange thing to do. Yeah, I know. Anyway. No. No. Found that off. That's two strikes. Uh, put them away, Tools. Tools, put them away. Lovely job. Off a, off a 91 mile per hour, quote unquote, fastball. Here is the new guy who came in. Guadalupe Guadalajara. And, uh, well, have we, got some, have we got some batting going on here? Yes. That's going out as far as Peaches. She has it. 
good piece of fielding. That could have very easily been misjudged. Runner on first two outs, Felicity Jack Hammer. And uh, she's two for three, including a double. But, you know, there's nothing special about that. There's strike one. Tools hasn't really got much on his fastball, but uh, that's okay. As long as we get results, I don't care how good the pitcher is. The one thing we do know is Rooster, not a good pitcher. No, didn't have a good session as a pitcher either. There's a big sinker. Easily read and it's fouled off. Okay. All right. The big... Here, try, try one of these. That's not gone where I wanted it. And that will be a base hit. Okay. All right. Runners first and second. Two outs. Bessie Grape shot. Probably having the worst performance of the batting team. Uh, only one for three for her. Likes that first pitch, but fouls it off. Okay, what are you going to do with the second one? Uh, slidey. Okay. That's well outside. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That one was that was a very, very long way outside. Okay, put that one about there. That's wrong. Still, she swung at it, and that counts. Uh, right. Inside slidey, please. Lovely. That's fouled off. Shame. Shame to waste a nice pitch like that, but uh, okay, that's the that's the game, I guess. Inside top. That's pretty good, too. Ball two. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This one's important, because they've got, you know, potentially three runs here, and uh, no. No. Right. Just do something simple and hope that uh, we can field it. That's good. And that's fouled. Okay. It's a full count. Tall's looking for the pitch that makes it happen. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. Gives up the walk. He's supposed to be accurate. Is he? No. Okay, then. Base is now loaded, and it's St. Crabthorn. All right. Tall's just throw it. Just throw it. Don't try and be clever, because, look, that's popped straight up. Coral's underneath it. And has it. What a save. Well, we've outscored them for the first time in the game. And the scoreline is now 9-7. BDP possibly on a comeback? I left you a hanging question mark there. Just so you can, you can kind of fill in that blank for yourself. Here's Cindy to open us up. All right, Cindy. Open them up, Cindy. Don't open us up. No, we're, we're open enough already. Uh, you know, we're vulnerable. Cindy, going for a high one. And she's hit it high, but I think the fielder's going to get there. And does. Cindy's gone. No, she's not gone. Why not? It was off the fence. Oh. And that's a nice hit from Cindy Vapid. And it's enough to get her to second. Oh, yes. Another double from Cindy. That's good. Well, okay. I know. I consider myself a little lucky there. That first one coming off the fence. That was pretty, pretty fortunate. It's Chubbs. What's the matter with you, Chubbs? Why is your power lacking? Don't know, but he's still a—he's a solid contact player. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't fill me with confidence. No. Chubbs goes for a high one. He's going to be caught easily. Yeah. Yeah. That's not your type of hit, that one, Chubbs. No, no. You want to you want to hit a grounder. Well, there's Johnny Touchdown. He's, uh, he's not done so well in terms of uh, hitting, but he does have a run to his name. So that's, that's something. You know, in, in, his, uh, in his burgeoning baseball career, he'll be able to tell his family, oh, no, I batted a run in. Yeah, did you get on base? Not really, no. No, I got out. Uh, and I'm only in uh, because uh, Shandy Worthless is injured. He's hitting everything now, and he's fouling them off all over the place. You know you can leave most of these, don't you? Yeah, but I know I'm wearing out the pitcher. All right, well, you're out. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, then. Yep. So that's two outs. Runner on second. Bernard Dunk is our man, potentially. Well, he will be our man if he gets this to do the thing that we want it to do. But he has to do that first. So over to you, Bernard, our man on the scene, reporting live uh, from home plate is Bernard Dunk. He's out. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, maybe maybe we're only allowed to have one good inning. Well, we've had it then, haven't we? We might as well end the game now. Yeah, you've got to end the game before you can end the game. Here's Felipe flexing. After that home run in the first inning, he hasn't done anything useful since then. I mean, for them, obviously. For us, he's been quite useful in not being particularly helpful. Straight down the middle. And uh, Tools has lost a little bit of zing off his fastball. That one only 90 miles per hour. That one's gone long. Oh, for Lexin. Yeah, he's done it again. He stuck that one in the Japanese Zen Garden. Knackers. Yep. Yep. That's because you said he wasn't useful. He heard you. Screw you, Felipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's Tiger Chain Gang. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's okay. The game's not over. We've proved what we can score. You just have to do it again and more consistently while not giving up too many scores of your own. Valerie will do a very late jump. Uh, that one's fair. Right out at the, uh, at the edge post there, and that'll be a double. No outs so far. Tools, how are you looking? He's, uh, he's off piste. I'm going to give you one more at bat and see if you can get him out. Okay, you give up you give up one more hit and you're sitting. Is that gonna count? Oh what the hell that one of you get it are oh, you flipping It was the intuitive uh, control uh, over the player. Uh, I was controlling the catcher and the pitcher got real close to it and so it switched up which player I had control of, which meant I was immediately steering them the wrong way. That doesn't count because it was a bunt. And it also doesn't count because <laughs> for other reasons. Coral? No. Coral lets it sail over her head and that's a run. And that'll be the end of Tools of Gast. Uh, he's, uh, he's toast. He's history. Put a bullet in him. All right. Take, yeah, put up a little tent and, uh, you know, put him down. Uh, right. All right. Who's coming in? What are you, what are you even doing? You, you meant substitute, not position swap. All right. Bert's available and in good form. Okay, Santino also available. Right, well, Bert, you come in first. Let's bring in the big gun. Now pitching number 47. All right, Bert, shut him down, son. All right, runners at the corners, no out so far. And it falls to Bert Violence to try and uh, close out this never mind. Bert there, completely failing to do what we asked him to, and that'll be another run for the enemy. Here's Guadalajara again. 0 for 1 today. But he's uh, he's just warming up. Uh, strike 1. Yeah. Save save the forky fork fork. Okay. Good pitch, Bert. Good pitch. And then the, uh, the forky fork fork. Just about on target-ish. But it's a ball. Yeah. Because it wasn't on target. That's why I said ish. I see. Johnny... Jumps, can't reach it. Cookies fielded that one, but that loads the bases up. And uh, and it's their turn to get the motor running. Here's Felicity Jackhammer. Uh, she's had a game. Yeah. All right, start her with the slider. That's low. Uh, follow up with the curve. That's off target. Okay, throw a reluctant fastball. There you go. Well... That's inconvenient. That would be a grand slam, everybody. Grand slam for you right there. What sort of slam is it? Oh, a grand one. And uh, Flick Jackhammer there, delighted. As you would be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the end of the comeback. It is the end of the comeback. Burt Violence, and it's also the end of Burt Violence's uh, relatively clean uh, averages for the year. There's an out. Oh, big whoop. Is St. Crabthorn? Yeah. All right. How saintly is St. Crabthorn? Wow, it's debatable. Okay. Oh, no, that's not, that's not worked. Two strikes. Can Burke get someone out at the plate? Not this time. Johnny fields it and gets an out. Well, we've, we've left... What's this, what's this clown doing? Stop that. Honestly, and you'd think he had two home runs today. He does. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. See? Ha, 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 ha. You know, all the japes. That's what we're about. 
That one goes straight through Burt Violence. We're lucky I didn't kill him. Um, although, I mean, I say lucky. Only in the sense of you don't want your players to get injured. But lucky in terms of, oh, he's been so successful for us. Maybe not so much. Uh, two outs. Runner on first. And, uh, and Burt's still trying to find a strikeout. Because that's what we need him to do. Find one, Burt. We found one there? No, I found another double, though. Oh, good O. That's great. Yep. And they will go for home. There's the immediate... No, no, no. no. They, they got in a while ago. Here's Hans Zanadu, the relieving pitcher. He's one for one today. He's the relieving pitcher. He's not even a starting pitcher. He's, he's in again. Ruddy Nora. Yeah. Yeah, Ruddy indeed, Nora. Runners at the corners, two outs. Here's Christopher Biscuits. Okay. Well, let's... Uh, someone will say, oh, you always pitch it here. All right, I'll pitch it other places. That one's gone down the middle. Yeah, I'll pitch it in other places as well, because that way you'll see it just doesn't matter. Just doesn't make a difference. When they feel like hitting it, that's what they're going to do. Uh, and occasionally, I'll throw something and they don't hit it. Well, there's, a, there's an out. And that's the side retired, but not before they put eight runs up. Which is more than I've scored all game. Good. Uh, at the end of six... Oh, crikey, there's still three innings to go. It's 17 to seven. Now batting, center fielder. It's okay, though. You can relax. The comeback starts here. It's Dick Yardline. Oh, is it? Yeah. Come on, Dick. Wait out a couple and then slap away. They're, they're, we're going to burn through this reliever soon enough. Maybe. I don't know. It could happen. He's out. Now batting. His choral success. She's had two singles today. That's not terrible. Yeah, we're not winning though, are we? No. So might as well be terrible. Yep. Come on, Coral. Take one downtown. And, uh, you know, give it a nice meal. And then suggest maybe uh, the theatre. Or perhaps the opera afterwards. Nah, Coral, yeah, she can't be bothered with any of that. Here's Bert. All right, Bert, sit down. You've done enough damage to your season record. Uh, let's sub him. Who's coming in? Benny Cheese. All right, Benny. Let's go. Yeah, two outs. No pressure, Benny. Benny pops one up on his first pitch. Well, he thought that through. He's out. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we're going to need a new pitcher. Santino, come on. Your turn to get your uh, your numbers destroyed. <laughs> Where pitchers go to die. Bulldozer power. It's been a failure. Double, triple, single. Run batted in. And that's taken her average over 300 this season. She really is a magnificent player. Who can virtually do no wrong. Uh, if there was one player on this team. You would say it was impossible to strike out. It would be Mina failure. She never strikes out. Ever. Under any circumstances. Well okay. She might not have struck out. But Val's going to catch her. Oh, unlucky for Mina Failure. So reliable. Uh, here's Guadalupe Guadalajara. And based on his season numbers, he's tremendous. Arguably the greatest baseball player on the team. Um, and he just has to prove it. Uh, but uh, I'll be completely honest with you. He has nothing to prove because he's just that good. Dicky. I hate you, Dick, and everything you stand for. I thought that was going to be a slightly more dramatic slide. There's a triple, and he's thrown it badly. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, my good God. We just gave up an infield home run. Never done that before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Did they call it? A, well, it's an in-park home run, isn't it? Is it in, no, it's... I would have thought infield sounds right, but the infield is not where he hit it. He hit it to the outfield, and then I completely screwed up everything. There's an out. Yeah, what do they call it? Uh, don't know. Okay. No. Oh, well. I mean, you know, that, that perplexes a little, but not so much that I care that much. Somebody in the comments will know. Um, either way. Oh. Yeah, that's that's all of the worst case scenarios kind of lining up together to, to give up a home run without it actually going out of the park. Here's St. Crabthorne. They've got a runner on first and two outs. Uh, but they have won this game. 
I mean, I, I, you know, I'd love to say that we had a fighting chance. Yard line catches with a jump at the fence. Actually making an actual play. At the end of seven innings, still two to go. Uh, it's 18 to seven. Now batting, right hope. Number 18. Yeah. Here's Valerie Hammock. I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing left. No, no, my, my commentary tank is empty. Uh, Val's just sitting here now. She's going, oh, come on. I'll, I'll have a go. See, because batting's the fun bit, right? Pitching's not fun. No one wants to field. You want to do batting and therefore, you know, try and get some hits. There's Valerie Hammock hitting a home run. Yeah, don't call it a comeback because it isn't one. And that's just a rare Valerie Hammock home run. It's only a third this season. That's nice. Well done, Val. I think she earned that. Yeah, I think she earned that too. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. Hans Xanadu's done. They're done with Hans Xanadu. Laszlo Blast coming in now. Uh, another pretty fair relieving pitcher. Did I just get a really bad selection of players? No, I know I went for contact players in the outfield, but I drafted pitchers relatively early. It's hard to say. Yeah, anyway, strike two. Ball one. Should have left that one, Cookie. Yeah, that one was wide. Here's Cindy. Swell, I mean, she's still the bright spark on the team. Three for four today. But well, she certainly hit the hell out of that one. And that's gone. That's a home run for Cindy Vapid. Consolation prize time for Bulldozer Powers players at the top of the order. A 446 footer, and that's Cindy's fifth this year. Well done. Chubs, don't get overexcited, son. Home runs are not your thing, okay? They're just not your thing. A base hit is your thing, Chubs. Oh, almost. He had, he had a decent amount of speed on it, but the shortstop managed to make the play. Uh, that's two outs, and here's Johnny Touchdown. Still waiting for his first base hit of the afternoon. That's promising. There we go. JT with a hit to the outfield, and he's on base. He'll be delighted. Yeah, he'll be very glad that he signed for a team that has the same kind of record that we do. And here's Bernard Dunk, two outs. And uh, Johnny touchdown on first. He's quickish. Not quick enough that I'm going to chance stealing. Oh, I want to keep batting. Strike two. Bernie, what you got? He's got a big hit. That's what he's got. But I don't think he's got the range. Has it? Yes, it does. Bernard Dunk with a home run. That would be three home runs in one inning. Ah, what's changed? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Nothing has changed in the chuffing slightest. Not one thing has changed. I'm doing everything exactly the same. Yeah. Here's Dick Yard line. Uh, with two outs. He likes that. But uh, then, you know, he hasn't got very good taste. He's outs. All right. Four runs there for BDP. That's adequate. I mean, you know, you're not, you'd say 11 runs in a game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty solid. Not in this game, though. Here's Felipe, two home runs flexing. Oh, he's not doing his little uh, hobby horse dance around on his baseball bat this time. Maybe he was told off. He's got another base hit, though. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with that pitch. Yeah, well, that's, maybe that's the problem. Maybe you need some pitches that there is something wrong. Well, that's most of them. And, and look at the scoreline. True. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's all right. We're di it's early doors in this innings. No, that one's gone a long way. Dick. A heroic jump from Dick Yard. I'm not going to fault him for that one. Uh, but he just it eluded him. And he gives up a double. I would say the team gives up the double. Uh, here's the pitcher. Laz Low Blast. And they've got runners on second and third. <laughs> he swung at a complete stinker there. I don't think he'll do that again. No, we tried it just to be on the safe side. But no, he wasn't up for that. He's fouled that one off. All right, fall in with something. Come on, Santino. No, he hasn't fooled anybody there. Okay, Santino. Bananas. Where are you going with that? Well, he got a strikeout, but he didn't deserve it. 
Uh, one out. Here's Christopher Biscuit. Double. Two singles. Two runs batted in. All of that kind of business. Uh, he's having a lovely day. And uh, his family are in the crowd. They brought a picnic with them. Well, I say picnic. They went to the concession stand and uh, bought their own body weight in nachos. Uh, covered in sour cream and uh, avocado. Out. Right. Next up is Mina Failure. I mean, I could have called it guacamole, but I couldn't be bothered. Uh, avocado. It's like I know what guacamole is made out of. Avocado and lime juice and uh, other business. Terrific. Yeah. Okay. Demonstrating why avocado is absolutely disgusting in one fell swoop. Although decent guacamole is decent. Uh, but you can't get it anywhere outside of the US of A. Never had good guacamole in any country other than the US of A, and even then in California. Yeah. Anyone saying you can have good guacamole in the UK is lying, because you can't get good avocados. Uh, moving on, at the end of eight innings, 11 plays 18. I'll let you figure out which team has the 18 and which has the 11. It's Coral, and it's our last chance. Inning number nine. Coral. That was the one, Coral, but you were late. That was pretty good to flip in court by Bessie Bloody Grape Shot. Is Santino. Sit down, Santino. Let's try someone who, who allegedly can hit, because I'm not going to put that pressure on you. Oh, there's a thought. Yep, let's roll. Here's Terry Partizan, who has been out of the team since getting everybody out repeatedly. Has got a thunderclap of a hit. No, 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 no. I tried to pull that one, but it was too late. That's out number two. Here's Valerie. Coming off that home run. Is she thirsty for more? That's ball one. Yeah. That's ball two. Yeah. You can have another walk if you want, Val. I mean, I don't mind. But uh, I want to know if you're hungry for more. There's ball three. One strike. And that's ball four. Val there makes a base again. She's going, what, me? I only have mind weevils. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. Just one hit for her today, but she got on base a second time from a walk back in the first inning. Do you remember back that far when our dreams were still alive? That's a nice hit. That is a nice hit. Go, 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 go. Uh, Val has made it a second. She's having a go for, th for home. She's in. Flipping, that was close. Yeah. Nice work. Cookie there with the double. Is Cindy. Home run, four out of five from her at-bats today. Laszlo Blast is done. Is uh, a Xavier sensation. And he is a sensation. Left-handed throwing, out of stamina, load of old tosh. And he's pitching to Cindy Vapid with a runner on second. Yeah. Can't send. It's out. And that will do it. Well, BDP played reasonably well, but defensively were completely awful. Just total, total garbage from the defence. Uh, I don't know where you'd apportion the blame. Certainly some fielding errors. Okay. Uh, certainly the pitchers weren't on target today. What do we get? Four strikeouts across the game. That's not, that's not, no, no, no. We got eight strikeouts across the game. We, we coughed up four of our own. That's high for us. Yeah, it is. But, uh, no. Yeah, Rooster Views with the loss, justifiably. Um, yeah, just terrible. Every pitcher that we put in gave up a home run. Or more than one. We gave up six home runs. Lorks. Yeah, your three stars of the afternoon. Felicity Jack Hammer, four of six. A home run, uh, a double, and five runs batted in. Felipe Flexing, uh, four of six. Uh, two home runs, three runs batted in. And Tiger Chain Gang, four of six. A home run, a triple, a double, and two runs batted in. Obviously, the RBI is counting quite a lot towards the star power. Hey, look, it's a manager moment. Yay! I'm excited. Who do we want to like us more? Dickie Boom, yeah, or Santino Bananas? Uh, I'm just—I'm not even reading the thing because it's stupid. I'm just going to—I'm uh, 
uh, I'm just going to vote in the way of the numbers. Because why not? Let's uh, chuck up some CPU games. The Voo Boys playing against Grazer Ridge. It's a Grazer Ridge victory. Uh, the Nomads now against Funbus. Funbus win that one. And the uh, Lingo Blend All-Stars playing Grunt Auto Group. Grunt Auto Group making it look easy. Uh, Toy Masters, start as a human resources, is a Toy Masters victory. And I think they needed that one. Uh, let's have a look at the charts. Grunt Auto Group lead the way in the Bombastic Division with 17 wins. I've got 17 losses. There you go. I'm at the bottom of the table with a minus 36 run differential. We are seven and a half games out of first. Arguably too many. Uh, in the Woodchipper Division, Failurewood Hills with 18 wins look good. At the bottom of the Port Miggins Pirates with uh, seven wins look bad. Uh, in the Whoop Whoop Division, uh, leading the way, the, path, the Pathfinders of Red Star uh, have 17 wins to their name. The Minstrels have managed to scrape their way to 10 at the bottom of the division. Hopping over the conferences, and the Nomads are 18 and 8. They are no longer on their own as the strongestest team in the world. Uh, but this is a very close division. The bottom base team at the moment has 12 wins, and that's Grazer Ridge, who are only half a game behind the Vuvu boys, who are yet to play. Uh, Zesty division, the beekeepers are out front with 17. Bumps and medics at the back with 9. 17 at the top and 9 at the bottom seems to be quite a common affair at the moment. In the sloganator, Cheerio Incorporated with 16 wins, uh, making this a fairly tightly contested division. Ish. Uh, at the bottom, the Toy Masters, who needed that win that they just got. Our next game sees us take on the, oh good, 17 and 9 Pathfinders. Versus your 9 and 17 Bulldozer Power. Goody, good, good, good. I look forward to seeing you there because it's going to be as delightful as they all are. Thanks very much for watching and subscribe if you can be bothered and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Cheerio.